so whenever we talk about health we talk about many nutrients we talk about balanced diet we talk about vitamins minerals phytonutrients carbohydrates and fats but when we talk about fat you know there is a myth that fats are bad but that's a myth only because not all fats are bad there are fats which are very very important for your health for our health for everybody's health and one such fat is called omega 3 fatty acid this is an essential fatty acid nutrient and we've got a very very good product an international quality product that fills the nutritional gap of omega 3 in our diet and that is called well omega 3 krill oil now you all know that we import the raw material for well omega 3 krill oil from a leading company across the world which produces krill oil and that's called acre biomarine to talk more about krill oil today in this talk show we've invited a thought leader on omega 3 he is working with acre biomarine for last 15 years now right now he is the senior vice president for marketing and sales for acre acre biomarine and is looking after a huge geography of europe Middle East, Africa and India. So with your huge round of applause, let's welcome all the way from Oslo, Norway, Senior Vice President of Acre Biomarine, Mr. Ruha Hans. Hello, Shorad, and thank you very much for uh, such a kind uh, introduction. Thanks a lot. I'm very welcome. happy. Welcome. Very happy to be here to get with you. And pleasure is all. Pleasure, pleasure is all ours, Ruha and uh, Now I know that uh, you are very very busy you're taking care of such a huge geography you know you're taking care of Europe Middle East Africa and India doing all the business to business marketing and working on the product also but uh, such a delight to have you here and thank you for taking your time out for us and I'm very happy to to be a part of uh, this talk uh, and uh, to meet you and and also to to get a better understanding of what's going going on in India so very very sure. happy to to be here so sure. So, so Ruth, this first explain to all of us here. So, what exactly are omega threes? So, omega threes are fats. Yeah. And as you said, uh, there are uh, healthy fats and unhealthy fats. So, basically, when we eat fat, there are three different destinations for fat in our body. So, either we store the fat ourselves in our body as fat. That's one destination. The other destination is that we burn the fat as energy during the day. Right. And the third destination is that the fat or the fatty acids they are incorporated into the cell membranes in all the cells in our body. Okay. If if we eat enough omega 3s, mm -hmm. then the cell membranes they will get rich in omega 3s. Okay. And therefore they will function better. No, so so omega 3 are very very important but how do I get my share of omega 3 for my food? So what food should I eat, you know, uh, so that I could get the the required amount of omega 3 so uh, there are different types of omega 3 some are from uh, based on the from land products okay. and other omega 3s are come from the ocean mm -hmm. and when we look to the science uh, there are two uh, dominant omega 3 fatty acids one is called EPA and yeah. the other is called DHA yeah. and those are the two with the solid scientific documentation So to get those two important omega-3 fatty acids, we need to eat seafood. So we can eat salmon, we can eat mackerel, we can eat shrimps, and we can eat all the species from the ocean. Okay. Or we can take a dietary supplement that is rich in such uh, omega-3 fatty acids. So and but we here we are talking about krill. So how krill is a superior source of uh, omega-3? So, so uh, I would I would actually say that the very best way to get omega three into my body is to eat fatty fish. Okay. That is that is the gold standard. Because mm -hmm. then, when I eat the fatty fish, mm -hmm. the omega threes they will be bound as phospholipids. Okay. The problem is that when you produce fish oil mm -hmm. out of fatty fish, mm -hmm. then you lose all the phospholipids, right. and you end up with something called a 100% triglyceride mm -hmm. fish oil okay uh, and uh, the body doesn't recognize and utilize the omega 3s the same way from triglyceride compared to phospholipids so you can say that that uh, in a way uh, omega 3 phospholipids from krill oil they are closer to the fatty fish 
than fish oil. Also in krill oil, you have uh, a nutrient called choline. So you can you can say that that in krill oil you get you get two fatty acids on one side, and then you get choline on the other side. So you get a multi-nutrient natural combination of nutrients instead of only the 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 omega threes. So uh, you know which ocean do you kind of harvest the krill from? So uh, the krill uh, is actually from Antarctic krill. So it's oh. the South Pole, so the, 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 the far south as, as you can go. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the reason why we go to the Antarctica to harvest the krill uh, is number one, because they are rich in omega-3 phospholipids. Okay. Uh, and number two, that in the Antarctica, they get to, together in big swarms. Okay. So a krill swarm in the Antarctica can actually be up to one kilometer in height, one kilometer in depth, and one kilometer in, in width. So, so uh, they get together in, in those big swarms. Oh my God, it's one kilometer, you just, you know, almost impossible to imagine what kind of a big swarm it would be. Yeah, it's a huge uh, biomass. But yeah, so I've heard somewhere between maybe twice the size of human beings on the planet. That is correct. So, so if you add, the, if you take the weight of the two of us, uh-huh. Uh, and all other uh, humans on this planet, <laughs> uh, then you will then you will come to about 250 million metric tons. Okay. Uh, uh, the the estimates out there uh, suggest that the biomass of krill uh, is actually twice uh, the weight of all human beings uh, okay. on the planet. Great. So, what does krill oil? You know, how does krill oil benefits me? What will benefits health benefits I would see? Once I start consuming krill oil and you know stick to it for a, let's say two three periods two three, two, three months at least. So uh, I think it's fair to say that that uh, omega three uh, is something you should take. You should uh, not take it for two three months. You should take it for life. Because for life, uh, right? Yeah. So so uh, if your diet is not rich in fatty fish, yeah, then uh, it's it's a very cheap insurance. To, to take those one to two capsules a day for for uh, every day during your life because okay. uh, then you will not end up having problems when you get old mm. uh, so uh, the the most solid scientific documentation mm-hmm. of uh, omega-3s phospholipids and uh, choline mm-hmm. that are all part of krill oil so the most solid science is on heart health okay and Great. on brain health mm-hmm. and on liver health all right so, and one thing that I liked, you know, uh, in your answer is that you've cleared it out that this is for lifetime. I mean, it's it's a part of balanced diet. Omega threes are part of balanced diet. So it's not that I'll take it for two or three or four months. It has to be, you know, included in my eating habits for the entire lifetime. Great. So, and how do I know whether the omega three levels in my body are really improving or not? Yeah. So, so uh, th- there are ways to test it, uh, okay. and and we have we have done uh, lots of, of clinical trials. Okay. Uh, so we know that if so, it, of course, depending on what else you eat. But let's say that you don't eat any seafood at all. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Then then uh, if you take t- uh, one thousand milligram, so one gram, uh, I, I think your capsules are uh, how much are they? Five hundred milligram. Yeah. Yeah. So if you take two capsules a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, eating no uh, fatty fish, okay. then 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 uh, you will uh, you will get to the levels where you should be. So so uh, that's the learning from our clinical studies. Okay. Uh, and then there are labs both in Europe and in the US uh, where you can run a test that's called the omega three index. Okay. Uh, so basically, you, you you just take blood from the tip of your finger put it on a paper and send it to the lab. Okay. Uh, and then the lab will tell you uh, how much of those coming back to the cell membrane. Okay. Uh, so let's say that the lab will find out that uh, within the sample, mm-hmm. uh, in total, you have 100 fatty acids. Okay. If eight or more out of 100 are omega-3s, then That's you a- get a green light. So what you're doing is good. All if right. you get if you have less than eight out of hundred, then you will get uh, a yellow or a red light, right, uh, right. suggesting that you should eat more mm-hmm. omega threes. That's very simple to understand. So the basically, out of hundred fatty acids, if ninety two are bad, at least eight should be good, which is omega three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so uh, uh, you've told us earlier before that omega 3 from you know this krill oil this krill oil has a nutrient called choline hmm. so what exactly is choline and how does choline helps me for my better health so i think uh, the uh, the one key key thing with with the krill oil is that you get the 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 choline and the omega 3 is from the same molecule So that is that is uh, really important. So you get some synergistic effects. Okay. Uh, getting it from the same very molecule. Mm-hmm. That's that's one thing. Uh, coming back to uh, in particular brain health and liver health, mm-hmm. uh, and and I think liver is is the place where where you have the the strongest and solid uh, science. Uh, if you don't have enough choline in your liver, mm-hmm. what will happen is that the liver will build up fat. Okay. And when the liver is building up fat and getting fat getting fatty, yeah. Then it will uh, it will s- uh, slowly day by day uh, function uh, it, will, it the function of the liver will go down. So okay. it, it 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 will uh, function worse and worse uh, every day. If you have enough choline mm-hmm. in your diet and in your liver, then the liver will be able to send out the fat from the liver. So you right. will not right. build up fat in in the liver. Now one more question. So about um, so this krill oil has a peculiar red color, and and which I mean it looks beautiful, you know, beautiful red color. So where does this red color comes from? Which is that ingredient, and how does it? I mean, is it only for the the pigment is only for the color, or it has some other benefits also? So uh, it's it's correct that that uh, the krill oil is red due to the this uh, antioxidant called astaxanthin. Astaxanthin, yeah. Astaxanthin. Uh, so uh, just to explain the, the entire chain here, uh, under the ice in the Antarctica, there uh, you have plenty of microalgae. Okay. Okay. Uh, and microalgae that is the food for the krill. Right. So the, the krill will come and eat the microalgae. Right. Uh, and it's the microalgae that that are producing both the omega 3s and, and the astaxanthin yeah. yeah great so so how uh, i mean i mean this, this is you know always it's a question in my head how does uh, acre biomarine harvest such a huge amount of krill you know for your supplies across the globe uh, so we have a special troll technique uh, that is called eco harvesting Okay. Uh, and the eco harvesting trawling uh, processing equipment was actually uh, developed by our own uh, fishermen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the uh, the key benefits with uh, eco harvesting is that number one, mm-hmm. we get the krill up into the boat live and fresh. Right. Uh, number two mm-hmm. uh, is that we don't have any bycatch. Okay. So so uh, the only thing we take out of the ocean. is great. Okay. So uh the the, the krill is is pumped through a hose mm-hmm. uh so that no other uh, uh seals uh seabirds penguins so that they see it in a way. Great. 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 So you have your own uh you know process to harvest and I could say from catch to capsule uh mm-hmm. the entire process is on by acre vibrate. Very nice. So one last question is there you know So after your talk I'm sure the awareness about krill oil will increase in India among more the consultants and uh, we will have huge uptake of well krill oil and India is a huge country 140 uh, 1.4 billion people of us are living in India and you know everybody is a fish eater so there's a huge demand for krill oil in India but is there enough krill in an antarctic ocean yeah uh, there uh, as as we said earlier Uh, the biomass of krill yeah, is twice uh, the size of humans. twice twice the weight of, of uh, humans uh, and uh, we uh, and that's that's one fact uh, another fact is that this year there are 10 boats out okay. in the antarctic harvesting krill okay so, so uh, there is a very limited uh, fish trade ongoing so right. the outtake of the krill is is not much at all okay got it but uh, i can assure you that that uh, we will be able to supply uh, no matter uh, the growth that that you that you can drive in in india super super so so ru it was very interesting you know we got to know that omega 3 is very very critical for our overall health 
you know good for our heart health good for our brain health good for our liver health and of course it has many other benefits you know for skin as an antioxidant and you know much more and one of the best source i would say the best source of omega 3 is from krill because of the phospholipids and the choline that is attached to omega 3 in the oil the absorption is better the uh, you know the uh, assimilation within the cell membranes is better and that's where uh, the improvement in the omega 3 in our human body would be much better so we we'll, we are always eager to learn from you and you know promote overall health and wellness and promote the benefits of omega 3 thank you very much thank you so much everyone pleasure to to talk to you today it was a pleasure from our side thank you so much namaste love